the quadrant streak plate method. It is a method for obtaining isolated colonies of bacterial cells that may be later transferred to a new sterile medium in order to form a pure culture of that microorganism. This method decreases, dilutes the number of cells being spread to each set of streaks made on the surface of a solid medium. First, label the petri plate provided by marking the bottom of the plate with an X to indicate the place where you want to start your set of streaks. Also, label the information such as date, your name or initials, your lab section, and source of bacteria being used. Place the petri plate top side up on the table. Take the inoculating loop and move slowly through the flame, letting the loop and wire glow orange for a brief period of time. Let it cool. Gather a small amount of inoculum on the cooled loop. Carefully, raise the lid of a new sterile petri plate, just enough that you can put inoculating loop inside. Holding the loop like you would a pencil, carefully smear suspension in a thick streak on one section of the dish as indicated. Close the lid of the petri plate and flame loop until it glows red hot and allow it to cool. Following the pattern shown, carefully place the cooled loop at the edge of the last set of streaks and carefully using a zigzag motion, spread the culture over the next quarter of the plate. Repeat those two last steps, flame the loop, let it cool and touch the last set of streaks and zigzag to spread the culture over the next quarter of the plate. Remember, there are many patterns that can be used for a streak plate. In our experience, the best results can be obtained if you only pull the loop through the last streak once or twice. This allows for maximum dilution of the culture. In, or, in other words, you decrease the number of cells being spread after each set of streaks. Remember again, your goal is to dilute the billions of cells of bacteria down to one or one CFU, one colony forming unit, in order to obtain individual isolated colonies. Look at the picture. When your streak plate is finished, seal the plate with a strip of parafilm. Store the plate upside down, in other words, in an inverted position in the container for your lab section. Why upside down? Bacteria respire and with respiration, water is released. If the petri plate is stored lit up, condensation will develop and raindrops will develop on the pure plate. The free water will then allow the bacteria to spread over the plate and thus no isolated colonies will form. <laughs>